Before we start, I want to say all of the statements that's made in this live are not mine. I'm not confirming anything. Why? Because I don't know. Okay, everything is alleged. Okay, so I'm back. And before the video start, it's greatly appreciated when you interact. Like, so please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so this is the first video for Stunner Girl in their live. She said a bunch of stuff in the live, and I have to break it down. Okay, this is number one. So first, she said Scotty is basically being treated like a dog, right? She also said that when she was there, like in the beginning, it was always beef with her in production. She talked about how she feel like it's been too many weird situations where it makes sense that Natalie and Lemmy are sleeping with each other. Then she got the scar face. She was like, the day she was leaving is the day um, he went on Instagram saying, Scarface, we want you. Stunner Girl is saying she's the one that told them about E.T. And she's the one that got her in, right? She also said Lemmy didn't even want her. She said Lemmy said E.T. was dirty and stinky. She was like, she feel bad for Scotty. And she walk around looking sad all day and crying. And it's like... Then I, she was about to say Natalie is sleeping with her cousin, bro. I, and, and then in the, I think it was part three, she actually said Natalie was sleeping with her cousin. But damn, where is Jacob? Well, um, here goes the laugh. And then that's when I knew they was hiding something because when I put the video on him, he ran out the video. So I'm like, like, what the f did you hide it for? Like, that's the thing I don't understand. Like, nobody really cares, but it's like, what are you hiding it for? Like, where are you? Why are you hiding these? Like, free these out the cages, p. You be handcuffing the bitches in the motherfucking club. You be parking lot pimping the bitches everywhere we go. Like a fucking dog. Like this bitch walk around like the fucking dog she holds. I swear to God. Quiet. Walking around with the fucking dog. Looking like the fucking dog. Being the fucking dog. So, you know, as I got on the show and shit, it's just like when I was there on my first season, I was like beefed up with everybody. I was beefed up with him. I was beefed up with the whole fucking production. Like... I was just beefed up because it was just hella weird happening. Like, they really felt like when I was on the show, they, like, they really tried to, like, make it to where I was just, like, didn't have nobody. Like, they wanted me to be there just while, I, while they got outsiders coming in to fight me. He wasn't going for that. You feel me? Like, but it's, like, they do that weird shit. And I could see why, like, he was doing that with, like, Krishan and Blueface. I could see why. He would do, they do like the manipulation, try to get him up, split up game, like messy. Shit. Me and my nigga don't go for none of that. My nigga never liked him. And it would be like, he didn't press this nigga, like really didn't press this nigga. Cause I remember this nigga told me I need to stop gang banging on TV or he said some stupid ass shit and I felt offended. So I called my niggas on him immediately. And I remember we had this like photo shoot for the like cover of, um, we was shooting the cover for the fucking show. And, um, that was already after I had got jumped and shit. They was just doing hella foul shit, just letting me get jumped and all that. So I came up in the parking lot hella deep. And his scary ass gonna go out there and send hella security. Like, I, I just want to talk to you guys. Um, Can I just talk to your husband? Da -da -da. He did some scary was breaking it down. Okay. But my whole thing would be with this dude is like, he acts like a straight female, like a bitch. Like, you act so, you that nigga acts like And it'd be like, for no reason, like, what do the point do this man be having to go on these interviews and get on Instagram, write paragraphs, be trying to troll me? Okay, I left your show. Like, let it go. You did a mother I hate Stunner Girl tour. You went on hella podcasts. And then it's like, when I sit there and I and I gag y'all like I did today with that text message, and it's crazy because, like, I could have been did that months ago if I was really tripping, like, I, you been gave them clap. I could have been exposed you, but I didn't. It's like I feel like I'm being too nice, y'all. Y'all think I'm being too nice, but it's like so many stories that I can get into with these weirdos, and then nothing I'm saying is it's all factual. So for him to get on Instagram today when I wasn't even talking to him and saying, "Oh, everything's fictional," well, I, I can hear his voice. Everything's fictional. None of the stories that she portrays are true. Uh, it's like you, a hit dog, were holler. I wasn't talking to you. I said you were her pen. I wasn't talking to you, though. Because you are. Natalie is your bottom, and it's time that you, it's, that you admit that. Y'all be fucking. Y'all do. Y'all do. 
and she be f the friend. But y'all two, y'all be fucking. Cause there ain't no mother way in hell. And then they didn't say little shit too. Like they do little weird shit. Like we was in the club when I was just uh, at the Baddies East thing, and I went to the cl uh, only day I went to the club with them. And she was like, she was standing right next to me. She was like, turned to him and she was like, I want you tonight. So you're not fucking, but she wants you tonight. Like you act like I'm over here saying you, you smoke crack. You know what I'm saying? Like. I just feel like, and then I feel like the reason too I even dropped that tea on y'all a long time ago is because he be hella disrespectful and he can't disrespect me. And so y'all wonder why I left the show. I said it was for a lot of reasons because I demand my respect. And that's why me and bro was always bumping heads all the time. Like he's a scrawny little b he knows he can't touch me. He knows he can't f me. He and that's what really be the problem because every bitch that he be casting is literally that he's, that he's fucking. Like all the girls that he be getting on the shows and y'all be wondering why, like, where the fuck did they beef come? Or why are they so beefed out? Like, you don't even really know. Or it'll be over something small. That's because he's literally casting a group of bitches and then just sitting back and, and watching them fight over him for the whole season. Like, you're really a weirdo. You could tell bro was, like, a fucking geek in high school and this is his first time having some bitches. For you, it's like, that's what I said earlier. I'm like, it'd be so many raw bitches coming to them auditions. Bro, a real like me can only be around some sh goofy shit like this for you know it, it takes a toll so you're mad at me because i left and you know what's so funny he's a messy ass bitch. like the day i was leaving right i remember um i told him like no i gotta go i gotta go i gotta get to um wherever my show was and when i was leaving that nigga got in his feelings and he immediately posted like oh i want scarface for a replacement and what's so funny is like I remember I told them about her. I'm the one that got her in. Like, he didn't want nothing to do with her. Said she was dirty. Said she stank at the fucking grand opening. He said all this shit about her. And I walked her up to him and I was like, you need to put her on a show. And then that's when he got on the microphone and was like, okay, I'm going to put her on a show. Who wants, who wants her on a show? Da -da 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 -da. So it was like, he do that type of shit. Like, he's like a mess. He tries to get people to be against each other. It's just weird than he could do so that day he immediately like when i said I, I didn't even post yet that i was leaving i had just i told him i was finna go nigga tried to argue me down and then that's when he started me on the internet and was subbing me and saying all this shit about me and that's when i seen him in the lobby and i started telling my like, bitch i'm gonna slap the fuck out you Woo. and then he thought it was funny he was like no it's gonna work good it's not like that da -da -da -da. and then as soon as i leave um he was doing just subbing me and talking about me all because i said i'm leaving the network like it's not that big of a deal bro if you feel like you around here making star bitch make another one why does that you get on your platform already have followers i already had 300k followers when i got on the platform and i really feel bad for um scotty because she just like walks around like his little pet i'm starting to think she's a, a walking frenchie you know what I'm saying? I'm starting to think that she's a that she's a that she's a living Frenchie. Bitch walk around sad all day crying. He be having her cooped. That nigga be handcuffing the bitch pee. I remember when we was out at my birthday and my uh, big cousin, he was like standing next to her like like she was like standing behind him or something. That nigga came over there and I'm talking about like made that Stand in a corner and look at the wall. Like, I couldn't believe my mother eyes, bro. I was like, bitch, you finna let this nigga in the club, put you in a mother corner, bitch, like you on mother time out. I could get my big cousin on here right now. That's the one that Natalie was that. <laughs> I'm talking about hella insecure. Like, how you gonna make the stand in the corner pee in the club? We're in a club. It's a small space. She can't she can't stand in the section. He's about to have a fucking heart attack. Anybody. Like when I was just on No Jumper, um, the interviewer was like, Yeah, I was just in Vegas with them, bro. He he was he didn't even he was acting crazy. I, I couldn't even talk to the bitch. Then look at the bitch. And then it's like nigga. Like the uh shit that I had put on my Twitter today. That's just the truth. 
try this more soon. Disney. Nigga, mm, mm, mm. But yeah, that shit I put on, uh, let's get into that, the, the tweet. So, um, this was, I had already, I know, this, this was the day that I was leaving the show. Oh, no, no, this was the day I was getting my makeup done before I was leaving. And then, um, old girl's business got exposed and shit. And then, they was already beefing because the other been around before her. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you found it interesting, I hope you did. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, turn your post notifications when. Thank you.